Good morning, YouTube. How's it going? Speckham Auto is back with a video today. I actually might be making more than one video today because it's such a nice day out. It's sunny, not a single cloud in the sky, and it's pretty warm. So, oh, I did bring a sweatshirt just to be safe, but it's warm. So, today we're going to be doing the part five of the Corvette video. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, already part five. It's not going to be a big big giant gap and delay like uh, part four was I'm still kind of sorry about that guys but at least part five is coming real quick so let's stop wasting time and get to it let's head over there and let's start filming part five guys There you go. Holy shit, this camera's blurring. There we go. One last look of the uh, before versus after before he does the driver's side. So, for those who missed it, might have missed it somehow in the last video, here's the before versus after. You can just right away see the difference. Yeah, probably because it's actually meant for fabric. <laughs> but it looks a lot better, man. I'm glad you went the route of the vinyl and fabric spray. All right. Yeah, that's not helping anything. There we go. Are you just going to spray right over the Corvette thing right there? Or are you going to just cover it? Or... No, I'm just going to spray it over. Well, it is technically vinyl, isn't it? Yeah, it is vinyl. It's supposed to be black anyway. Mm, so it should be fine. Stop 
spraying paint all over the place. This is going to be kind of annoying. How we can combat that a little bit. Let me take a little easy on this. Sorry for the window glare guys, I'm trying to film through the window so there's no wind flying into the car through this driver's side door. So I'm getting what I can. I'll come back over here. Look at us actually getting shit done for once. Doing a great job.
time for that. <coughs> I was gonna maybe try to film a second video today, but I don't know if I actually am or not. Why not? Because I have other stuff to do. <laughs> sure, is that what the kids are calling it nowadays? Other stuff? Yeah. Pretty much. Ugh. Yeah, because I, in the beginning of my video, I said I was, uh, thinking about filming both, you know, two videos today, but I'm like, uh, as time progresses and things change, I don't know, because I still gotta go home and clean up and get stuff done around the house, so it might have to wait until another day, unfortunately. Sorry if I disappointed any of my, uh, subscribers. <laughs> Uh, things happen. It's the way it is. <sighs> we'll bled through this a little bit right here. Yeah. Nothing that can't be fixed. This fucking sucks to do with a handful. Where's your drill? Work. Don't you have like a drill or something for it? Yeah, it work. Oh. Well, that would have been nice to have. <laughs> I didn't think about bringing it home. Eh. This is like a like a two dollar ratchet. Went from Walmart. The Harbor Freight, even better. I think even Harbor Freight has better quality tools than Walmart and stuff. It just depends. They have those icon tools now that I guess aren't bad at all. I'm sure a lot of people at work buying them. Go to Walmart? Harbor Freight. Oh. Uh. Oh shit, dude, I keep hitting you today. Ah, oh, you're fine. That literally will not affect the video at all. Well, I need a deep well. Hmm. Is it getting too deep? Yeah. That's what she said. Selection at home. Just buy a whole snap on tool truck hmm. and park it outside. You get the money for that, bud? No. no <coughs> do I. I've got three dollars and a stick to go. That sounds about like my budget. I wish I was middle class, bro. Oh, wait. We are below middle class, aren't we? <laughs> Shit, we're poor as fuck. Not too bad. I hope you feel good about yourselves, rich folk. The struggle is real down here. I would like to think that the majority of rich folk had to struggle at one point, though. Mm, probably. Unless you were born into a rich family. Yeah. <coughs> Most people would go and buy a $500,000 house and then have $250,000 worth of taxes every year and not be able to afford it after a year. Or however that works. See, that's, that's something I wouldn't do. Like, if I won the lottery and I got a crap little money like that, I wouldn't buy a mansion. I would, like, buy, like, a little simple, like, ranch-style house out in the country. 
That's where I would go. Like maybe like a little two or three bedroom. Nine million dollars. I just pay off my parents' house. Get me something small. Just like clip on the monitor. Like, does it clip onto the seat frame? Yeah. And I hear it's a bitch to get back in, and they ain't fucking kidding. Ow! My fingers. There it is. Go. Seat number one. Are you gonna go ahead and put the driver's seat back in right away too or no? <laughs> it's a good thing it's made out of metal. It won't break. There you go, bud. I got you. I got uh, you, fam. If I was a child over there, would you have gone and just watched it? What? Getting hit by a car? Yeah. If it was a kid, I would have moved him out of the way. <laughs> Sorry, Junior. Should be a lot easier to film at this point. Oh, there's a lot of sun glare. There we go. It looks so much nicer in here now. Fix this right here. This is not bothering me. What is that? My head release. The screw came out of it. Oh. So, I need to put back up in there. Sir? Okay, there we go. Now this part... This part is broken. The problem I didn't think to address until now. Why is it going to be a problem?
much better than that because I can't see it. I'm assuming this way. Plug in. It did. It's a problem. Is it like not going into the holes properly? Well, I mean, that's easily figured out. I'm just gonna move around until I can find out where the sweet spot is. But the real problem is, this is an electric seat, and the car is dead, really dead. <clears throat> so it means I can get the back ones on, or to get the front ones, the seat has to move back. But it's an electric seat, and the car is really dead. So I can't move it. <laughs> <laughs> That's not good. <sighs> Wish there was a way you can manually adjust power seats. over here. Let's get these back two in, and then I'll have to put the other battery in. Just the seat back, I can get the front ones. There's so much sun glare. This is bad. Okay. I think I got it. Ran out of room. I had to 
Again. <sighs> At least this uh, electric rice bowl can start. I have to sit you guys down for a second. Had to get my hood prop up. All right. Here's my little uh, lawnmower battery. I hope I don't overcharge my battery. That's a big motherfucker. Turn over that giant motor, so. Well, I guess we'll see what happens. Can you hold this up and film at the same time? Maybe. Yeah. I think you're gonna have to replace your little things that hold your hood up. Oh, they're brand new. Oh, why aren't they holding the hood up? Because the hood can't open all the way. Oh. Shit, they open pretty fucking far. Oh, there we go. It's moving! It's alive! So freaking close.
maybe um, I can just go ahead and maybe have you send pictures to me of your interior when you have it done. And I can just put pic the, uh, the pictures you send me onto the video so that everybody can see the progress or whatever. Or like the little final result you got. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to end today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed the content that I brought to you guys. Don't forget to hit the like button on my video. Hit the share button. Share on all your social media platforms with your friends and family. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell icon to make sure you guys get notified each video that I upload. Follow my Instagram at SpecMAuto. Follow Facebook, SpecMAuto. See you guys. Have a great day. See you guys next time.